it's me, your host, Kenneth Rodriguez, the most popular YouTuber. And uh, today we're going to be making a video on how to record, I mean not how to record, how to render your Roblox character using Blender. So you could use those Roblox characters you rendered for thumbnails, as you see in this folder. Uh, this one of the character renders I've got from Blender. I just wait a little bit for this black screen to uh, remove. And as you can see, uh, I got this one as well. And I, I just use these rendered characters for thumbnails. So um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these rendered characters with this very simple tutorial. Now the first thing you want to do is open uh, Roblox Studio. Uh, this is the first step. Uh, I think if you have Roblox, you... Uh, Roblox comes with Roblox Studio, so if you have Roblox, you should have Roblox Studio. So now you just want to open Roblox Studio, and I'll cut to when this is installed, because I'm not waiting for this. Now, when you have Roblox Studio open, just choose a base plate, because it's going to be the simplest one uh, to do this on. So you, first you want to open base plate, and uh, go to... Uh, I forgot where to go. Wait, no, yeah, go to test, test. And uh, press play. So if you press play, you'll load up into your game. And you should see your character just appear on the screen. Then what you want to do once your character is on, you know, the Roblox game is to go over here. Uh, click on your name. And you see your character be highlighted. Uh, right click on your name. And go to export selection. Now, uh, usually what you want to do is make like a... A folder to, for all this stuff so like go to like a blender folder or like yeah just go to like a blender folder or in my case I made a folder called Robloxian is where I save my stuff so just click on double click on Robloxian and then just press save I already done this so I'm not gonna do that okay so now is when this tutorial gets, gets exciting we're finally opening blender and what we're gonna do first is go to file Import and wavefront.obj. Then find the obj folder, whatever you called your your Roblox character. It should you should uh when you save uh when you save your character from Roblox Studio, you should have put it in a folder. So find that folder in here and uh, press imports obj uh obg I mean j, and then you should see your Roblox character just be right there. But as we can see, it's kind of lifeless, and it's gray, and it's disgusting. So you want to go to the top of the screen here, and click on this ball right here. Uh, that should have your Roblox character now be fully colored in, and also react to light and shadows. Now when you import your Roblox character, or like make it into an image and render it, uh, you don't want your Roblox character to be in this gray background with a cube. So basically to get rid of the background of this, we're gonna make the background transparent. So you wanna go to this little like TV screen over here, or a camera, whatever that is, and then go down to film, uh, click on that little arrow, and uh, select transparency. That will make the background transparent. So when we render the image, uh, our Roblox character, will it will just be a Roblox character in the image and not this cube or the background. Speaking of cubes, we're going to have to get rid of the cube because we don't want that showing. So uh, just right click on the uh, cube and uh, just press delete and the cube will be gone, snapped, erased from resistance, whatever you want to say. Now that your Roblox character is, you know, perfect, it's all there, your resolution's perfect, everything is fine. You want to get a good camera angle so when you render this thing, it won't look, it won't, the camera won't be in the opposite direction, not facing Roblox character at all. So, uh, you see this, like, floaty square thing in the sky? Uh, you want to click on this mouse button, and then, uh, your whole camera will start glowing. Use this, and I'll click on this transform tool, and you'll have, like, a bunch of different ways to move it. So, red moves it side to side, green moves it back and forth, and, uh, uh blue moves it up and down. I don't know why I forgot the color there. And you can also use these, like circles to rotate the camera. Okay, so once you got a camera angle you think you're happy with, and the way you can check is by clicking this camera uh, icon in the corner. Uh, you want to press Enter to kind of like finalize your stuff. And but that's not it. 
You, you can see this thing up here. That's a light, and you want to move this close to your Roblox character uh, because your Roblox character uh, needs to be bright and uh, is easy to be seen. So you kind of want to put this like on top of your Roblox character or next to it, so your Roblox character is nice and bright and not so dark. So if you want to make sure you're doing it correctly, just go into camera view and yeah that's about it so get a good camera angle get a place where the light is good your roblox character is all bright and we can move on to the next step now after you're done setting up your camera angle your light resolution all that stuff you want to move on to the final step and which is rendering your roblox character and actually making an image you could use and like some kind of image editor like photoshop whatever you want to use so you want to go up here to next to edit and file render. You want to press render image. So now uh, you'll you'll get like this screen that pops up, and right before your eyes, your Roblox character will be rendered. Uh, you see that's the image I'm gonna get, and you want to go up here to image and want to save as. So just save it into whatever folder or whatever you want to call it. I call it Robloxian. So I'm not gonna save it because I already have a render. And you can just close out of Blender. Uh, if you want to save your file, sure, it doesn't really matter what you do. Uh, so save your file. Uh, I'm just going to discard changes. I don't really care. And then go to your folder, which you save your stuff in. And just like that, you'll have a Roblox character render, which you can use in thumbnails, all kinds of stuff. Do whatever you want. And yeah, that's basically how you do it. And just like that, you too like myself can make awesome youtube thumbnails like myself as you can see right here these two videos were done using the character renders i used from blender so yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh make sure to hit that subscribe button uh 56 which is actually uh more than i thought i would have had from these three videos i get about two subscribers a video now so that's actually pretty good and yeah thank you guys so much for watching like subscribe turn on post notifications i love my notification squad because they actually watch my videos and i'll see you in the next one goodbye